Hey, what's up, guys? Damian Brinson here, owner of Lawyer Credit Solutions Incorporated. Today's March 4th, 2021, as far as the date of the recording on this video. Hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Um, I just hope that you and your family and you guys are trying to stay safe through in this uh, pandemic as we continue to fight through it. It's been, it's been um, almost coming up on a year now that we've been uh, fighting this pandemic together. I know some uh, clients and family members have lost uh, family and friends. Um, and it's uh, it's tough, guys. It's, it's really tough when you have to deal with a pandemic and um, also deal with regular life stuff. Like, you know, even during the pandemic, we still have to put food on the table. A lot of us lost jobs. Um, just a lot of crazy stuff going on. And um, you know, even in my business and, you know, in my personal life, there's been a, you know, a lot of crazy stuff going on. So we're all in this together. I just, I hope everybody, everybody, this, uh, just continue to have faith, you know, continue to, um, think positive, surround yourself around positive people and individuals that's going to give you strength to carry on and stay away from negativity. You know, we have enough negativity, um, through the news and social media and things of that nature that we don't need any more negative news. So stay positive. Keep your head up and um, just continue to move forward. Now, this video, I'm kind of just winging it here. This is how I normally record videos. I just kind of just wing it and um, wherever we go, we go. But I wanted to emphasize, um, this is kind of like a proof video. Again, that's what I normally do where I'm showing proof that uh, we're still removing heart inquiries in uh, 2021. Uh, from all three credit bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And anybody that's been doing credit repair or if you've been trying to repair your own credit, you might have noticed that things have gotten a lot harder uh, over the last 12 months, um, mainly because of the, the pandemic um, that we're in. A lot of stuff that used to come off in certain time frames not coming off. Um, you know, certain credit bureaus, they're literally... Uh, losing mail and ignoring uh, our disputes and it just goes on and on and on so today we're you're, you're going to get it uh you're going to get it 100 you know it's going to be some positive stuff it's going to be some negative stuff but ultimately um you know i represent my family's name you know my name's damian brinson and i take pride in my family's name and in my business name so some stuff uh is normally positive some stuff is not always positive so i want to give you guys um both sides of the coin because you know most times when people um, try to advertise and make videos or post stuff on social media you're only getting one side of the story you're getting all the positive stuff um now if it's only positive stuff then that's cool but sometimes it's not positive stuff so i know for a fact there's a lot of people in companies uh, and, and individuals that, you know, there has been some negative stuff that happened, some stuff their fault, some stuff not their fault. You know, it just all depends on the situation. So for all of you guys watching, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I know there's other videos that you probably watched before this video and probably after this video. And, and I just want to really appreciate uh, you guys and just try to give you guys uh, as much value as I can on this video. Now, what I want to do first, um... First, if you need to contact us for any reason, um, our phone number is 407-476-0508. It's easier to text us um, because we don't have a secretary. So if you do call, you're going to go directly to the voicemail. Now, you can't leave a message. That's the second best thing. And uh, we don't check them that often. We probably only check them two or three times out of the week. So it might take us two or three days to get back to you. Um, so make sure you uh, text first. Email second is probably the best way at lawyercreditsolutions at gmail.com and then third you can leave a voicemail because sometimes voicemails we have so many of them it's it's hard to catch up sometimes so sometimes we we literally don't even call back like if we have went past let's say five to seven days we just we don't even call those people back because it's been so long and they probably already moved on to another company or another individual so that's how you do that also uh if you guys don't mind go ahead and like and subscribe to this video um, and that just helps the, um, the YouTube gods, you know, rank our videos higher so we can start getting more videos out to you guys. So we're going to first start with, um, we're going to start with credit karma. Um, now 
Credit Karma, we're going to go over TransUnion and Equifax as far as the hard inquiry removal. So let's. And what I'm doing, we're going to we're going to we're going to do this live, live, meaning I don't like doing screenshots. You know, screenshots can easily be faked. And one thing that I have yet to find is faking live research admin work this is admin work this is the stuff that we do behind the scenes when we're checking on files so we're doing this live this is a real account real client no funny stuff going on so we're just gonna go ahead and log in and we're gonna start with transunion 748 pretty good scores um score got a big jump there so what I like to do, and you guys can do this yourself. So what I like to do <clears throat> is once I click on TransUnion, I'm going to click on this button that says see what's changed. So this is going to let us know, or it doesn't always let you know because sometimes it'll say no results found or nothing to see or something like that. But in this case, uh, we do have some stuff that we can actually look at and go back and we can backtrack and see all the activity or at least most of the activity that's been going on with this credit file. So this is TransUnion. Now we're gonna find, let's see here. Yeah, it's probably toward the beginning of the year, uh, around the 30th. And if you click on see changes, it'll give you all the changes for that specific day. And as you can see, uh, their score went up 29 points. Uh, and this is a direct reflection of the inquiry removal. Now, this probably actually would have been higher, but as you can see here, their Capital One credit card, um, they had a balance increase. So whenever you have a balance increase, the credit score normally goes down. So these two increases is probably offsetting this number a little bit. I'm not sure by how much, but I'm pretty sure it's offsetting it. But as you can see here, credit increase removed. There's a lot of them. I think I counted. Let me pull out the calculator. I counted 45 total earlier uh, when I looked at this. Um, so if we do the math on here, it says 20 changes and all these are inquiries that's removed. And then these two were uh, balance increases. So 18, so 20 minus two is 18. So 18 inquiries, and you guys can count this later, but I'm pretty sure my math is correct. But credit inquiries removed is 18. Now this is TransUnion. Now TransUnion and even some of our current clients and past clients, TransUnion has taken the longest. Like normally this process only takes like 30 to 45 days. But this process right here, it took like probably a little over three months, probably closer to four months. And that's very odd. You know, normally it doesn't take that long. But ever since this pandemic, things have just been weird, just crazy. So the whole remove inquiries within 24 hours and 48 hours or remove inquiries in 30 to 45 days. This was not the case. This is what I would call, I guess you can call it negative, but it's out of our control. You know, we did the exact same process that we've always did that always worked. And one thing about credit repair, you know, what worked six months ago might not work today. You know, that's why you always have to sharpen your skills, stay sharp, uh, do research by other courses. Um, call the credit bureaus, call the lenders and ask them as many questions as you can, because that's how you ultimately learn trial and error. There's no magic pill. There's no magic letter. There's no magic code in the Fair Credit Reporting Act. You have to do these things in order to learn and to um, get a better perspective on the other side of the coin. So. This took a lot. This took a while. You know, I, I don't know the exact time frame, but if I had to guess, I'll say probably maybe around 100 days, something like that. You know, between three, three, three and four months. Uh, but eventually this patient patient, this client had uh, a lot of patients with us and they stuck by us because they knew that they can trust us because we actually worked with them before and the patients paid off and we were eventually able to remove. Uh, all these inquiries from uh, from TransUnion. So I just want to show you guys that. I'll scroll down a little bit just so you can see. And if you want to pause the video and count these, but they should be 18. And that's it for TransUnion. Let's go to, let's go to Equifax. 
Remember, again, we're going to click on the uh, see what's changed. Now we're going to go down. Let me see, February 8th, was that it? Yeah. So February 8th, there wasn't much going on. And it, sh it shows right here that there was 11 changes. And the fact that the inquiry removal was the only one listed. Now, we know that it was 11 inquiries removed. And this is, again, Equifax that we're looking at. And this one also took 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 a uh, took a while. It wasn't as long as TransUnion. This one was more. I think we did two disputes, so it was around sixty to probably seventy five days, as far as the range. Um, it, it it took a little while, but not as long as TransUnion. Equifax um, cooperated a little a little faster. So that's that. Not much to say about that. As you can see, their score went up twenty points. I really wish we could find out like how they determine how many points that you get for inquiry removal. Cause I mean, if we do the math on that, um, we removed 11 and the score went up 22. So, I mean, if you do the math on that, that's two points per inquiry. So I guess as a rule of thumb, you know, anywhere between one and uh, probably even four, points you can get per inquiry how they determine that i'm not really sure um i think that it has to do with the age of the inquiry i think the age of the inquiry has a lot to do with it the more recent the inquiry i believe it it holds more weight and the older the inquiry carries less weight um it has not been proven it's just a hypothesis of mine but that's just what i believe so that's equifax so we've seen Inquiries removed in 2021 from TransUnion and Equifax. And this is undeniable proof, guys. I don't have to sit here and sit here and sell you that it can be done. Will it be quick? Will it be 24 hours? Will it be 48 hours? Will it be 30 to 45 days? As of right now, I'm going to say no. That it's probably not. It's probably going to take longer because we're in a pandemic. A lot of crazy stuff is going on. The credit bureaus are overwhelmed, and that's just the fact of the matter. So that's the truth that 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 that's the truth. You know, most businesses are, are, are people won't tell you that, but that's the truth. So if you're looking for a quick fix, then we're probably not the company for you. Um, and you might want to try to go somewhere else um, and see if they can get it done faster. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we're not the only store in town, you know, so I understand that. But uh, I'm just showing you that we can get it done if you have patience and just believe in us. And for whatever reason, if we can't do it, which we'll go over toward the end of the video, if we can't do it um, after a certain point, not really, I don't have a specific time, but like if we dispute it like four times, then that's that's pretty much it. We're, we'll just give you your refund back on whatever didn't get removed and uh, you can try to go somewhere else because we pretty much exhausted everything that we know to do after three or four times. So let's go to... um. Are we done with trend? Are we done with? I'll leave this up. It might log us out, but it's okay. So let's go over to Experian. And then Experian, we're going to do the same thing. And that, and as you can see, I'm this is live. Um, and we're going to log in. I love doing stuff live. I don't like screenshots. I don't like it. And this client has a score of 783. That's amazing. You don't see those scores that often. That is that is very amazing. So let's go find out what we did for these guys. And the easiest way to do it, if you guys are not fam familiar with how to navigate um, through Experian, is to go to the Dispute Center. Because the Dispute Center, as you would imagine, would have everything that you disputed or currently disputing so if you look over here to the left where it says completed we're going to click on here and we're going to go to the last dispute which was uh see these came off faster see these came off in december the other ones came off a couple months later so as you can see here we got and it's actually dated uh this is generated on the first of december and of, of last year this is of last year of 2020 and as you can see 
I'm not sure how many inquiries are these. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five. Wait, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16. All right, so we got 16 inquiries removed, undisputable, undeniable proof that we can get them removed. Now, Experian has been wonderful during the pandemic. I love their system. I love their interface. And they removed inquiries so, so fast. And as you can see, these were removed early in December. And TransUnion, well, not TransUnion, let me see what's it. If we click back over at Equifax, this was removed about a month later on February the 8th in TransUnion. Let's go back to TransUnion just so we can kind of compare the time frame. This is how you guys can see I'm not just running my mouth. Let's see. Oh, actually, it wasn't that bad. So TransUnion, let me see. So it took December... So almost December, yeah, it took about December 1st to almost February. Yeah, it took almost double the time as um, Experian did. So actually Equifax took the longest. I'm shocked. Normally it's the opposite. So Equifax actually took longer than TransUnion, which is, which is odd. TransUnion is normally the last one that comes off, but that's that. So you guys seen, seen, seen the inquiries removed, so I don't have to elaborate on on any of that i just want to show you guys that type of proof now at this point where do we want to go let's um i was reading an article let's let's go to this now that's the end of the whole proof video so uh if you guys don't want to continue watching the video i know i probably shouldn't say this as a video creator but that's it for the proof and if you guys want to just uh get started you can come to our website here at loyalcreditsolutions.com and you can click on get started. And you will fill out this form right here and just submit it. And before or after that, you want to click on this red button. And that's going to take you where you can go to get your credit reports. Because we're going to need access to all three of your credit reports and we partner uh, with another company that will supply that for you guys. The price is twenty seven ninety nine. Not trying to hide any prices for you. I'm not. I'm. Not, we don't play that. Play those games over here. Twenty seven ninety nine a month for that, and you'll just need to keep that until your service is complete. And the quickest way to contact us again is just send us a text four zero seven four seven six zero five zero eight, or you can email us at lawyercreditsolutions at gmail dot com, or you can leave a voice message. Um, I would do all three. Um, we do get real busy. And sometimes uh, text, emails, phone calls, those type, of, those type of things get overlooked all the time. I mean, I apologize. I'm sorry, but it's just so many people are, are contacting us. And it's like, whew, we, we just can't handle everything sometimes. So um, I will contact us all three of those ways. And then you can go, you guys can go ahead and get started. Um, so that's that. But like I was saying, I was reading an article. Um, what date? It was March 1st of this year, 2021. I'm not going to read the article. I'll try to leave the link underneath this video so you guys can check it out. But this is just more proof of what I was saying earlier that, you know, this pandemic has really caused a lot of issues with the credit bureaus. And if you uh, continue to read this article, they go into it and basically are saying that the credit bureau credit bureaus are overwhelmed. Like the complaints have like skyrocketed um, since um, you know, pre uh, pandemic. So whenever, and this is why stuff is taking so long. It's not necessarily that um, my company or another company or another individual, they're taking so long to, to complete your file. It's not us. Our work, our physical work doesn't actually take that long. Like it, we probably can be done within a week, but after that week, it's out of our control. We have no control. That's one of the drawdowns and draw drawbacks from credit repair is that we're we don't have much control guys like it's it's i'm not saying it's not fair but we're at a disadvantage that's part of the words i'm looking for we're at a disadvantage because we're at the mercy of the credit bureaus they have all the control and the creditors also they play a big role in it also but i mainly like dealing with the uh credit bureaus 
because they're the ones that are actually storing this information that most of us didn't even give them information to store in, in the first place. But that's another story for another day. But, you know, this article just goes into it and it gives you some very specific numbers as far as the the, the number of complaints that these credit bros um, have have got over, you know, this last 12 months or so. So I just like to show you guys this and actually show clients this that, you know, it might not be a quick fix that that's the main point that I'm trying to make to you guys. If you're repairing your own credit, you know this, you know that everything's coming back verified or sometimes you don't even get a response and nothing is happening on your credit report. So one of the things that uh, a lot of people do is they go to, let's see, and as you, you can see it all through this article right here, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. So if you go there, let's just go there. I wasn't even planning to do it, but like we say, we're just winging it. We're trying to learn some stuff today. All right. So the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, they they kind of they're kind of like the mediator uh, between the consumer and the uh, credit bureaus. And normally when you have a complaint about the credit bureaus, this is where you would go. And. You have a higher pre pandemic, not right now, but pre pandemic, you had a higher chance of getting items removed when you combined it with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And it was very powerful, you know, but now since the pandemic, it's it's been they've been so overwhelmed. They're literally sending messages that says we can't even help you. Uh, we're overwhelmed. Uh, we're not going to um, let's see. We're not uh, they're going to say we're not able to investigate this any further. Um, they just give you these little. Stall statements and letters to stall the process because they're overwhelmed. The credit bureaus are overwhelmed and it's very hard to keep up with the just the sheer numbers of, of, of complaints coming in. So even the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau can't handle it. So whenever you guys are dealing with credit repair companies, either mine or somebody else's or individuals, just kind of be cognitive that uh, there's a lot going on. So it's not going to be a quick fix. Nobody should be guaranteeing guaranteeing you 24 hour, 48 hour services and stuff like that. They can do it. OK, more power to them. But how sustainable is that? Like it's that's not going to be very sustainable. So that's why I don't like to give those type of claims because I can't we can't back that up. Does it happen sometime? It does. But very rarely. But you, you can't have a business based on sheer luck you know you're just flipping a coin you don't know what's going to happen you don't know how long it's going to take to remove these in inquiries nobody really knows you know so um but this is a good great website um hopefully they'll, they'll start actually doing what they're supposed to do again to uh help the consumer out um uh, you know for the most part they do try to help but when it comes to complaining about these credit bureaus it's it's been tough it's been it's been crazy we're not going to run through how to actually uh, fill this out. Maybe another video I'll make that. Um, but for right now, this is just uh, kind of showing you that um, even these huge uh, uh, federal companies are also having issues. So I'll try to leave this article below the uh, video. It's just some great information. The article's not that long. Um, yeah, it's not that long. So uh, that's that. Um, let's see here. Where do we want to go now? Now, that's the main stuff that I wanted to go over. Is there anything else I need to go over? That's pretty much it, guys. I'll, um, I'll kind of end the video there. Um, we're also uh, opening up our doors. If you guys need just regular credit repair or, you know, you need some collections removed or, you know, stuff of that na nature, uh, you guys can also contact us. And I'll see if we can help help you out. As far as hard inquiry removal, uh, the prices, you can, you can just go to our website and click on the uh, current inquiry removal prices. Uh, we go over all the prices right here in front of you. We're not hiding anything. You get a guarantee. You can read about the guarantee here. Your guarantee is also in your contract. Um, most frequently asked questions can be answered on this page. If you go down to the bottom, there's a, a video 
that goes into detail as far as this entire pricing page and uh yeah walks you walks you through everything and um just want you guys to have a good resource to go to as far as hard income removal and regular credit repair and that is about it so um if you guys need something just hit us up uh already gave you the information as far as how to reach us again like and subscribe to this channel and if you guys don't mind i'm actually coming out with a um a video base uh do it yourself uh credit repair course uh it's going to be very detailed information and as far as going through everything from a a to z to how to repair your own credit because what i'm finding out is that one most people can't afford um the credit repair as far as having somebody else do it because it, it, it is expensive and it's hard work like it's 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 going to take a while to do um the actual work so most clients uh can't afford it or they want a cheaper option so what i've uh was recommended by other clients is that you know i should create like a like a membership site type thing where you guys can log in and literally i can walk you through like step by step like verbatim exactly what you need to do as far as repairing your credit so i'm coming out with that should be out hopefully within the next month i should be done creating all the videos it's going to take a little while and if you guys are interested in that if you guys <clears throat> could just like the video and comment below and i'll end up sending you guys a discount uh, i'm not sure how much yet but if you just comment below and say um you know i, I want the discount on the uh do-it-yourself course or something like that and um we'll i'll contact you and i'll get your information and then that way whenever the course comes out you guys will get a discount again i don't know the the price of the discount i don't even know the price of the course yet you know i i have no idea um i'm recording all the videos now and i'll figure it out once i'm done and and any other type of like videos you guys want me to make um now i can't make videos of how i do my business i can't give my secrets um away as far as how we run our businesses or certain stuff that we do but i can give you um a galore of, of of other type of information depending on what you want you know i I'm, i feel like i'm very knowledgeable on the subject of credit um i actually um are getting more understanding of the business credit side i never really studied the business credit um until the, like the pandemic and i'm learning a lot about that so i have a course on that also after the uh personal credit uh course is out so just let me know you guys have a good one you be blessed you guys take care of yourself exercise eat right do all the stuff that we know we should be doing that we're not doing and uh, i'll talk to you guys soon it was a pleasure talking with you guys it's great to be back on the microphone and um i'll talk to you guys soon all right take care